All right, we're opening this package today. Uh, I ordered this about not even a week ago, maybe, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get into this. So, The Little Game Master by Randall Hampton. This is the first book. Uh, and this is the second book. So let me set this aside. So I bought this because I have uh, a six-year-old, a two-year-old. I have a 10-year-old as well, but she's probably not gonna read these unless she's reading them to her little brothers. Um, and in case you're wondering, my 10 year old daughter definitely loves D and D. So she might like them. Uh, but my six year old is learning how to read. Uh, he's getting a little better and, uh, he likes seeing new books. So with that, let's, let's look at this a little bit and see, give you my initial thoughts. So this is the first book. Like I said, um, Looking at the cover, you've got some skeletons, looks like a beholder, a mind flayer, some other things, right? Goblins. I'm sure, you know, looks like an orc maybe. And then the party, right? You got like a wizard, maybe a cleric or a paladin and maybe like a fighter or something. Uh, it looks like a paladin because like a holy symbol is glowing there, right? Uh, and then the dungeon master. So that's cool. And some nice little dice there. Great illustration, by the way. It looks really awesome. Uh, so this is the map, and uh, this map is really, really awesome looking. Uh, I really like this. The art style in general is just really wholesome. Uh, I love it. This is cool. Like, I love this area. Would love to see more about this world, actually. Um, over here, you got like a wall keeping the south from the north there, which is interesting. Uh, would love to hear more about that as well. And then this waterfall over here, check that out. Is that not cool? Like, this is a really cool map. I, I absolutely love it. A lot of cool things there. Um, 2017. Uh, by the way, you can pick this up over at the Little Game Master website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, not going to go through the whole book, but um, again, you can see the art style is really nice. Like, look at, oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Randall, you, you've done an amazing job here, man. I can't wait to read this with my kids. Look at that, Cyclops. The, the heroes. Very cool, very cool. So it looks like this is a half-orc uh, barbarian, maybe. Um, very cool artwork, though. And then the same map is in the back that's in the front. So... Again, really cool book. Um, here's the back art. You got a fairy, an owl bear, some kind of a uh, like like a um, oh gosh, I can't even think of what they are. You know, you know what that is. If you know what it is, leave it in the description below. Displacer beast, an ent or a treant, some kind of fire elemental, the cyclops. You got like a dwarf over here. Very cool. So that's the first book, right? Very nice book. Now the second book, let's get into the second book. So the second book is called Of Bards and Bullies. Again, you have the adventuring party on the cover. Uh, and this time it's a cavern in the background. Uh, you got bats and gold, treasure, you know, good stuff like that. So yeah, let's see what the inside looks like. So the inside is the same map. I don't think there's been any changes to it. Again, I would love to hear more about this map. Oh, I actually thought this was water. Apparently it's not. It's like a dried up ocean. Or you could just see through to the bottom of the ocean. That's what it is. You can see through the bottom to the bottom. Okay, that's cool. So it's got like a an opening with with like a kraken that lives down there or something. Very cool. Once again, the artwork is gorgeous. I really love the style. It's very good. Characters are pretty cool. Again, really cool art. And I don't want to give away the story. That's the only reason I'm not showing you guys every page. Because, you know, what would be the incentive for you guys, right? Um, to pick up a children's book when you could just show them and call it good, right? I don't know. It's a good book, though. I'm, I'm sure of it. Randall's a smart guy. I've, I've seen some of his stuff before. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's like a stone giant right here. That's cool. And then, yeah, more cool art than playing some more D&D. &D. So uh, is this a Detroit Lions jersey? I just, I have to ask. Uh, 
What do you think in the comments below? If you're watching this and you're, you're not familiar with Randall's work, he is in Michigan, so I would not be surprised. I do see this green and white over here. I'm going to pretend that's a high school team colors and not, uh, you know, that school in Lansing, uh, you know, Michigan State. And then, yeah, his logo is really cool, too. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. I love Randall's work. Here's some of the monsters on the back. Got, like, a skeletal. Is that? Actually, that's, um... It's not a lich, but it's the, the floating head lich thing, right? Is that what that is? Got a red dragon up here. Purple worm. Uh, fire giant. I don't know what that is back there. Some kind of tentacle. Another tentacle back there. Spider. Some kind of bad, bad mamma jamma over here. So again, really cool, really cool work. So again, if you haven't checked this out yet, this total cost me about $30 for these two books. You can tell they're pretty thick. Uh, got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, if you have children that have expressed interest in your Dungeons and Dragons or tabletop RPG stuff, these books might be perfect for them. It's a great way to start getting them interested in fantasy and you know all that good stuff. And uh, I'm excited to see uh, how my six-year-old enjoys these. Uh, he starts first grade in just a couple months, and uh, he's been wanting to play D&D. So there you go, guys. Uh, this was The Little Game Master by Randall Hampton and The Little Game Master of Bards and Bullies. So go check those out over on his website. Uh, the first book is up on Amazon as well if you have some Amazon credit. Uh, I will also post that link below. Uh, I do get a portion of Amazon sales, so um, that does not cost you any more. Uh, but yeah, if you can, go over to his website, support him, more than, first and foremost. This was Master the Game. I am Juice. Game on.